What's going on everybody? In today's video, we go inshore fishing the bridges and channel markers for triple tail on New Year's Day. And in the cooking with pudding section, I'm gonna show you how to cook a delicious macadamia nut encrusted fish recipe. Let's get right to the video. No, I'm way better than that. Got one? Ooh, a keeper snapper. Nice. That's a nice one. Nice, first fish. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> and that's a really nice mangrove snapper for inshore. <laughs> it is. Now what do you got though, Sizzle? A little mutton. Woo, second fish. Another species. Not Killing bad. It. He's biting it right now. I got a fish, but Darcy's tangled in my line. Okay. Oh, I just had a very lively <laughs> shrimp. It was the shrimp. That's funny. Nice. We just went and got shrimp from the snook nook. That's where you should get all your shrimp. You got a fish. Whoa. Nice fish. What is it? I don't know. Triple tail, I think. Yep. Really? Yep. Is it a keeper? Yep. Get nice. me close. Target all species. Right. Target species acquired. Hold on. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. You ready, babe? Did? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, he's under there. Hey, this is a nice fish. You ready? Ready, babe? Yeah. Where is he? Oh yeah, that's keeper. Yeah, it looks like a keeper. Hey! We got my, oh yeah, that's a nice fish. A decent fish. That's a seven, six, seven, six, seven pound triple tail, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And check it out, guys. My lucky triple tail pendant just crushed it. We've hit a bunch of pilings. That was really weird bites. We're just getting all kinds of little weird fish and stuff. And I was a little worried there that we weren't getting any like quality fish like sheep's head and keeper snappers and stuff. But that all day is a beautiful triple tail. If you guys watch my videos, you know how much I'm obsessed with catching triple tail and just fishing these structures for them and pitching a shrimp there. But you can see he got hooked perfectly with my little shrimp jig. I was using half a shrimp there. Pop that out and I'll show you to him. Sorry, babe. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Just bend that hook getting out. That's how well he was hooked. Nice. Insane. All right, let's show you this beautiful fish. Love triple tail. They're so delicious too. Very flippy. Very sharp gill plates. Hold them tight with your girl muscles. Nice. There he is. That's a keeper all day. I'll take it, guys. Nice. Beautiful fish. It's been a while since we got a keeper triple tail in the boat. We did this a little while ago. Didn't have too much success, but again, don't you love when a plant comes together? Beautiful. First official beautiful triple tail of the year <laughs> starting 2022 with a bang boom let's measure him okay here we go let's get a quick measure 18 inches total length he's 20. Yeah. that's what i call it too yep i'll say that's a nice four maybe five pound fish nice. <sighs> triple tail baby let's go get some more <laughs> i'm excited now nice job i'm just gonna tell you guys real quick how she caught that uh, we're just hitting all kinds of pylons and crab traps, pylons, crab traps, navigation aids. She's using a, a 3000 Van Ford, Shimano Van Ford, which we love. Uh, simple uh, air wave rod from Tsunami, uh, 15 pound braid, 20 pound leader to that little jig. We'll show you how you push the shrimp on, no problem. Yeah. And uh, we really want to have the water temperature over, what is it, 68 sizzle? 70. Over 70. Okay, so it's been hot here for a couple days. And, that is uh, a key tip to catching triple tail, guys. Pay attention to your water temperature. Yeah, because we come out here and not pay attention and I caught zero. So <laughs> that's a big deal. On to the next fish. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought you had another one. No, I'm getting bit. He's over here. Another fish. Woohoo! Another fish. Another species. That's a lot of species today. Another fish. Honestly not even 10 o'clock yet and we've caught like I think almost 10 species. Yeah guys that's what we love about this shrimp fishing I mean it's nice to go out in the ocean and catch beautiful blackfin like we did yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also nice to come out here and any, any day of the week and what do we catch it for? Mangrove snapper, lane. mutton snapper, lane snapper, jacks, triple tail. Rass, lizard Rass, fish. Lizard fish. Jacks, catfish. That's a lot of fish right there. That's actually true. So I mean if you come out with your kids or on a slow day you're gonna you're gonna catch them. I just did a Brian release. Put in release. Put in release? Yeah. I would keep them for the traps, but I have so much bait now, I don't need it. And I want good luck for more triple tail. You got something. Ooh. It's acting weird. It's acting like triple tail. It's acting like triple tail. 
That's okay. Woo! They're biting. All right, guys, we've been fishing oh, gonna be for close, a while. Baby. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. We've been fishing for a bit. A uh, long time. And we just know current. Now the current just started picking up. We got close to the Fort Pierce Inlet. And there's also a major. Yep. So, uh, look at that. Let's see if he measures. Beauty. Let's get the real measurer. We got another triple tail. It was a while. He's going to be close. In between each thing. All right, this fish is exactly 17 on the dot, but beautiful triple tail. Nice to finally get another acquired species. Let's just let him go. Oh, he just took off. Nice. <laughs> Back at the house, guys, with our delicious triple tail. It has been a minute since we've caught a keeper triple tail, so very excited for Cooking with Pudding to cook this up for us. And we're going to take two, two different sections of meat today out of this beautiful fish. It's actually one of the smaller ones we've caught. Not complaining at all, just saying that we've caught some bigger ones over time. But of course, this fish is still going to have delicious cheek meat as well as beautiful fillets. So I'm going to show you two different methods. We're going to get the cheeks out and then we're going to fillet this beautiful fish. And I'm going to be using two different knives today. This is my this is my four inch bait breaker from Smith, which is an awesome little bait knife for the boat. And it works for cheeks too. I don't like to use that long blade when you're getting cheeks out. So let's dive right into this. And of course, I do have a promo code, Darcizzle15, for 15% off plus free shipping. And you're just going to basically outline. You're going to feel the fish, where the cheek is, nice and squishy, and then it goes hard. So you're basically just going to outline that edge, keep your fingers away, and turn that fish around and work your way around, just edging it out. And you'll see even on this smaller fish, which I'm guessing is about five pounds, he's still going to have a nice set of cheeks to eat. And like I said, just edging it out. Just making that cut all the way around up to his eyeballs. And I'm gonna pull the flap up towards his eyes. Just make sure we got everything released. Cheeks go pretty deep in there. So you wanna get in there right underneath the eye and then make a cut way down in there up to the skin, just to the skin. You're not gonna cut through it because it's very tough skin. And then gently with your fingers after you made that cut, just gently lift and peel the meat away. You can see right there, that is a beautiful triple tail cheek for us to eat and enjoy. And you can see that's a pretty sized, decent cheek for this 20 inch fish. So you can see we got all the meat too. We didn't waste anything. Now that we got the cheeks out, we're going to put this knife to the side. We're going to use my seven inch loaya, which is my go-to for most fish. This guy has really crazy scales. You'll see some of them once I start cutting through, but go in between the scales, make your cut down, make your cut up. And these fish just have a really broad head, so you're not going to get maybe as much meat as you might think you have, but of course you can still cut pretty far up into the head and get enough meat uh, and not waste it. And then turn your blade around, and you'll see all these scales are coming off on my blade. So you definitely want a sharp knife, of course. I always say a dull knife is much more dangerous than a sharp knife. Go through the tail. And you can see those scales right there. They're just catching on the sharp blade. But crazy scales on this guy. So definitely want a knife that is going to get the job done quickly and efficiently. And then just like any other fish, we're just going to slab off this gorgeous meat. And for whatever reason, it's definitely one of my favorite fish to catch, one of my favorite fish to eat. It is up there. It's, I would say it's definitely one of my top five favorite fish to eat. And I don't get to have them too often, so I always get super, super excited when I catch a keeper triple tail. And these fish get huge. These fish get upwards of 30, 40 pounds, not necessarily in my area of Florida, but definitely on the Gulf Coast and the Louisiana area, they catch absolute tanks of triple tail up there. And one day, maybe I'll make a trip up there and catch some monsters. But these guys also have a very, uh, a rib cage bone that protrudes pretty far out there. Oh my gosh, look at that meat, snow white. Perfect. You see, we're just slabbing it right off. Knife making quick work of this beautiful fish. And there it is. Look how white that meat is. And I bled this fish in the cooler, so it made the meat even whiter. There's not going to be as much of a bloodline there. Should be pretty easy to, uh, once we skin it, there's not going to be much else left to do. I'm going to go with the bigger blade today. To skin this fish, I'm going to go with the 9-inch loaya, which is the same exact blade, just longer and better for bigger fish. And I don't want to miss this skinning process here. So I think the set, the 9-inch is perfect. So just like anything else, keep it close to the edge of the table so you have some leverage. Get that knife right in there and slab it off.
boom, beautiful. That little bit of redness is not even anything to worry about. We're just gonna leave that fish in whole condition. Take these little pieces of meat off from his little fins. You can eat that if you want to, but I'm not going to. It's a little piece of stomach meat, done. And of course, there'll be a little pit of pin bones, nothing too crazy, we'll knock those out real quick. And that's about it, guys. So like I said, I have that promo code for these knives and what I just used down below. Check them out if you're interested, but they're great affordable knives and you get a great discount code as well. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of this fish, y'all, and then meet you in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Dark Sizzle, for cleaning up that triple tail. You did, a, you did a wonderful job, as usual. Welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. And today, we got a delicious meal for you. Macadamia nut encrusted fish. This is one of Darcy's favorite recipes. Now, first thing I want to mention before I get to that is we have an awesome giveaway going right now. It's free to enter and you're going to win a fishing trip with our sizzle and me. <laughs> We're going to make a video on the fish angler boat, okay? The link is going to be in the description of this video. All you got to do is go there and sign up. It's free to enter again and you and a friend are going to be fishing offshore in this beautiful boat. So go down and uh, sign up for that right away. Back to the fish. All right. This recipe is absolutely delicious and pretty simple. So what we did, I mixed equal parts of crushed up macadamia nuts and panko breadcrumbs. I like to put them in this tray and shake them up real good and, and that makes you a nice even coating to apply to your fish. After that, we're gonna do a simple egg wash and, and put on the breadcrumbs just like anything else, like just like if you're doing a chicken cutlet, through the egg wash, into the mixture. I'm cooking it in just butter and, and a pinch of olive oil. And, and it's super simple. It's gonna cook three, three to five minutes on each side, flip it over, and you're ready to go. By the magic of uh, YouTube, I got it all finished right here, so let's plate. I got some nice broccoli. I'm just gonna use my hands, because Darcy and I have been living together. It'll be our 10 year anniversary, March 3rd. Isn't that exciting? March 5th, <laughs> March 5th, March 3rd is our birthday. I almost got in trouble. So I got some nice broccoli, keep putting thin, and then we got some fish. Look at this right here. You can put some extra butter on this. You can put any sort of sauce. Darcy likes to make a coconut sauce sometimes, but here it is, nice delicious lunch. We're gonna wash it down with a little of this. Let's see how Darcy likes it. All right, Darcy Sizzle, tell us how it is. I am ready. Go dive in. I'm taking little baby bites because I had some teeth work done, so my <laughs> teeth are sensitive. I gotta eat on one side. Here we go. You did. And again, triple tail is one of everyone's favorite fish. So white, flaky, just one of the best you're gonna get. Mm. Oh my God. Brian put in, cooked it perfectly. 10, 10, would eat again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Not to me. Not to me. <gasps> <What>? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. Dude, it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Tell you. It's super moist. Just He cooked it so perfectly. It doesn't need anything else. The, the crust is amazing. Killing it, loved it. All you gotta do is test with a fork. Dude, oh, now I need that. to all, not, well, now all I need to do is finish this plate and go catch some more immediately. It's so good, I love it. Oh my gosh, thank you again. Amazing. I thing. literally forgot how delicious it is. It's amazing, <laughs> it's been a while, for sure. Can't wait to go target them again. Epic day on the water, thank you guys for watching. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Boom. Nice. Oh my God, it's honestly delicious.